begin with my favorite story. Oh, I love this story right here. Basketball Jones by E. Lynn Harris. Oh, let me just get this off the bat. If you are homophobic in any way, do not read this book because this book is not for you. But if you have an open mind, go right on ahead. This book, I loved it the minute I started reading it. It just kind of, it really, it just flowed. The, it picked up, you know, I picked up this book and didn't want to put it down. Really, like, I think I finished this book in a day. I went to the library, checked it out, read it at the library, and then turned it in the same day. I was just, whoa, I was like, that was a really good book. It starts with, the, it basically starts with a secret and then tells you how it became a huge secret. Even though I'm, I must admit that it threw me for a loop in a, in a good way though, because I was really like, what? For real? Like I was, I was really talking to myself when I was reading this book. I mean, and if the prologue doesn't, doesn't pull you in, don't read it because that, that's the main part of the book. It really shows how their relationship came to be. And then it pulls you into the present of how their relationship is now. But it starts off with, you know, AJ tutoring Dre and Dre is straight and AJ is gay. He, he is, he, he starts, he ends up being like a secret relationship because Dre da, 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 has a basketball career. And I was, I, I read that sentence twice. I was like, what? He's a basketball, he's in the closet and has a basketball career. Wow. But that's really how their secret relationship came to be. And AJ is the secret lover of Dre. And this book tells the story of how AJ coped with having a serious relationship with Dre. And honestly, he did it really well. He did it better than like most women I know who are forced to have a secret relationship. <laughs> and to me, like love is love and it, it should not be a secret. You know, I, I understood why it was a secret. I just didn't want it to be a secret. It really shouldn't have been. Because because Dre had a basketball career, he had to put on this persona of being straight. And he ends up marrying this woman named Judy and he still keeps AJ. Like he like and, and AJ really doesn't mind because he knows how much it would cost him if if his secret came out and he ends up he takes him like everywhere he takes him to every basketball game and nobody knows the news nobody which is really really funny but you know i must admit aj made dre look smell even feel good like i don't even have to be there aj made dre look good he did like when you like read like how Dre is and how he looks and when he goes out, what he does, like you you could you could just see it. But you know, Dre gave AJ everything, you know, including his money. Like everywhere, like if AJ got like transferred to another team, if he got drafted into another team, AJ came with him. Like and that happened all the time. I was like, whoa, really? Wow. I mean, and and I I, I thought that was like awesome. You know, that they were able to, like, keep this, like, secret going and going and going. But every page had me either laughing or wondering how they are not getting caught. I was wondering. I was like, well, how are y'all how are y'all doing this? And it's, 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 it's just, it's funny. It's funny and it's cute. But, you know, along, you know, this trip, AJ meets this friend named Mo and Jay, who keeps him, like, down to earth. Because, really, AJ didn't have any friends. I mean, he really had just Dre. You know, and, and you know, once they move to a certain area, which I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> he meets these two people who he, he considers his friends. I mean, he considers them his friends, but he doesn't tell them about, you know, Dre. He keeps that kind of a secret. He tells them that he has somebody, but he doesn't tell them who it is. But towards the middle of the story, their relationship is really threatened by Dre's upcoming baby. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and a black male. So yeah, <laughs> there, AJ does a lot to keep Dre happy, but now he has to do a whole lot. 
And what really surprised me is that Dre was 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 a closeted gay, and he still went out of his way and slept with Judy. And I get he had to do it, but I don't see how he kept that relationship going. I really don't. Because I love the way the author was able to see how there are two ways to this relationship. How they have to, like, Dre has to keep this persona up, but AJ has to, you know, keep his secret, which I love. I love that whole thing about that book. Everything takes a turn for the worse, and AJ is forced out of Dre's life, which was so sad, without Dre knowing, and he really doesn't have much of a choice but to leave. And once once you see why you have to read this book, this is a this is a three star book. This is in in most one two three stars. This is a three star book because this book was just awesome. I mean, it had everything. It had me intrigued. It had a great storyline. It had great great character development. I just loved everything about this book. The breakup was good for AJ, but at the same time, it was really bad for him because he needed to see what being without Dre was. But the way it went down was was really heartbreaking. I mean. He had to really leave Dre. Dre was, was upset and sad and mad, but AJ, I feel like it was good for AJ because all of, all, not all of his life, but you know, the years he was with Dre, he was really staying, you know, a secret. But now that he wasn't with Dre, he, he had to grow up and learn it for himself. So this is a three star book. I love this book. I'm, I'm gonna say it again. This is a three star book and I, want everyone to go out and read this book because this was an awesome <laughs>